let's do this. The first thing I'm gonna do is, whoops, get out. Um, but I'm also going to uh, make sure to level up all my characters properly. And uh, so on. So let's just uh, grab them and, and make sure. Indeed. Yes. Um. And the next set. Last foundation. Yes. Yes. Actually, horse feathers. Yes. to the lands meet as win because yes. she's senior and Loviana. Um, I'm not bringing shale. I don't think walking in there with the golem is gonna make me look good or uh, somebody from the crows. I'm not gonna bring a canary into the lands meet or a maleficar or a dwarf. So this is just from role playing. I could bring dog. Doggy doggy. But no, I'm not going to bring an animal. So let's go. Bow should really be like here or something. Isn't in the Warden, image. I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the land's meet. Now wouldn't you? You have torn Ferelden apart to oppose the very man who ensured you were born into freedom. But do not think you will get past me to desecrate the land's meet Desecrate. Itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest once you are gone. So, uh, it, I could uh, initiate a really cool fight here, um, and I could talk to her about, like, um, uh, the man who killed your king and uh, sold slaves, yada yada, and then fight her. Uh, but I'm just gonna be super tired at this point, and I just, you know. I'm like, I'm just tired of everything, and I'm just going to be like, do you really not see what Logan has become? I have had so many doubts of late. Logan is a great man, but his hatred of Orlais has driven him to madness. He has done terrible things. I know it, but I owe him everything. I cannot betray him. Do not ask me to. Then let me stop him. You know this is the only way. I never thought duty would taste so bitter. Stop him, Warden. Stop him from betraying everything he once loved. Please, show mercy. Without Loghain, there would be no Ferelden to defend. So. Um. Yep, yeah, let's do this. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Aemon. <laughs> 
but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. <sighs> ah! <laughs> here we have the puppeteer. Really? Tell us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? What do they offer you? How much is the price of Ferelden Honor now? So the first time I played Landsmeet, I failed miserably, and I lost. Uh, because I was only doing, you know, emotional replies, like, Oh my god, slavery! Oh my god, you king killed King Kale and oh my god, Alistar is the rightful heir, yada yada. Uh, I'm metagaming now, so I know better. Um, and uh, so, as I said before, at this point he's just really tired of everything and he's like, okay, listen, um, the blight is the threat here, not Ole. There are enough refugees in my Banor now to make that abundantly clear. The South has fallen, Loghain. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orle? The Blight is indeed real, Wolf. But do we need Grey Wardens to fight it? They claim that they alone can end the Blight. Yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And they asked to bring with them four legions of Chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the Chevaliers, can we really expect them to simply return from whence they came? Um, well, you allowed Rendon Howe to imprison and torture innocents. The Warden speaks truly. My son was taken under cover of night. The things done to him! Some of them are beyond any healer's skill. Hal was responsible for himself. He will answer to the Maker for any wrongs committed in this life, as must we all. But you know that. You were the one who murdered him. Yep. Whatever Hal may have done, he should have been brought before the Seneschal. There is no justice in butchering a man in his home. There is no justice in butchering a man in his home? No? Then why did you send a blood mage to poison Arl Eamon? I assure you, Warden, if I were going to send someone, it would be my own soldiers. I would not trust to the discretion of an apostate. Indeed, my brother tells a very different tale. He says you snatched a blood mage from the Chantry's justice. Coincidence? Do not think the Chantry will overlook this, Terran Loghain. Interference in a Templar's sacred duties is an offense against the Maker. Whatever I have done, I will answer for later. At the moment, however, I wish to know what this Warden has done with my daughter. What I have done? I protected her from you. You took my daughter, our Queen, by force. No. Nope. Killing her guards in the process. No. Nope. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdane. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Caelan's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed, if not for this Grey Warden. The Queen speaks the truth. So, the Warden's influence has poisoned even your mind, Enora. I wanted to protect you from this. My lords and ladies! Our land has been threatened before. It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven 
that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself! The Warden. I'm with the Warden. Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden! The Western Hills throw their lot in with the Wardens. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. Hmm. Ha! You lose. No, not. The land's meat is against you, Logan. Step down gracefully. Traitors! Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. You cared about this land once. Before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? Um, yeah. Call off your men. We'll settle this. We'll settle this honorably. Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough! Let the landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we, who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? Dog's my champion. No? Okay, Dog's not with me. <laughs> well, Alistair, of course. Then let us test the mettle of our would-be king. Prepare yourself! I love this scene. I love it. I wish I'd taken Alistair's helmet off. Right. Uh, shield wall. Off I go. And war cry. And slam his face. Uh, God's war cry, okay. And whoops, it is. Enough! All right. Good. Oh no, you dog! And hit him! Ah, miss. All right. Let's Wonderful. Go! Wonderful. I'll oblige you this time. Ooh, Normally, sorry. I don't fight colors and invalids. Let's have a yeah. dinner! Yes! Off I go. Uh. This part takes forever! Uh. Uh. Splendid! Yes! Face yes. me! Nice dodge. Yeah. Hey, watch it! And hit him! Ah, miss. Drained. Really drained. Okay, I'll give you some stamina. I can guide go. my sword! Very well. Die! Blast you! Excellent! So, there is some of Marek in you after all. 
Good. Forget Merrick. This is for Duncan. Yes. I say yes. Yep. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. No. Wait, what? No! When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? He refuses the throne. Everyone here has heard him. I think it's clear then. He abdicates in favor of me. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Anora. Warden, will you help us? I will. Uh, I want to speak to Alistair first. Strange. I feel like I'm back at the Abbey, trying not to get chosen last for the sparring teams. Um, what do you think I should do, Alistair? You're asking me? Yes. I guess you have to choose between Honora and me, right? Frankly, I, I think you should give her the throne. I've never wanted it. But it's up to you. Do you really think I should choose her? She seems to want it anyway, and I know I don't. So, yes? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> when he's hardened and you decided with him that he should take the throne, he, he really argues really well for why he should become king. But I didn't harden him this Let's Play, so uh, it's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I want to talk to Nora as well. Certainly. Um, are you prepared for this? Are you sure it's what you want? I have never had the smallest doubt. <laughs> Who do you think I should choose? <laughs> I'm just going to be... What makes you a better choice than Alistair? But she's probably going to say some really bad things about him. Surely that's not a serious question. I have been the ruler of this nation in all but name for the last five years. I can lead for Elden. Alistair can't. If you give him the crown, then you've only brought us a brief pause in the Civil War. It will resume again at the first opportunity, and it won't end until a new dynasty holds power. Okay. I'm ready to choose. As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead for Elden? I believe Alistair and Anora should marry. No, I don't. <laughs> Queen Anora. Thank you, Warden. You were wise not to disrupt for Elden's governance any further in a time of such crisis. My first act as Queen must be to insist on receiving Alistair's oath before all the lands meet to relinquish all claim to the throne for himself and his heirs. Oh, I never wanted it. I mean, yes, of course. Happily, in fact. And now, lords and ladies of Ferelden, there is still a blight to defeat and armies to gather. And I appoint this man to lead us in both. We will not allow this land be further threatened by the Archdemon. Gather your forces and await the Warden's command. On the morrow, we shall begin our struggle against the greatest threat Ferelden has ever faced. And we shall triumph over it, for we are for Elden. Bravo! Yep. So it's done. My father is dead. Yes. I never thought he would go so far. I never thought it would end like it did. Such a waste. Um, I'm sorry, I wish it could have been otherwise. No, because I'm not sorry. Um, you're not thinking of avenging him, I hope. There is no point. He accepted his fate, and so do I. Arl Eamon has left for Redcliffe, and tells me that our armies have almost fully gathered there. I will be heading there myself. Bring your companions, and join us at Redcliffe Castle as soon as you are able. You have united for Elden Warden. Now we face the blight.
Level up! Right. Head to Red Cliff to prepare your army. And Queen Anora. Um, let's read this. We have been given the gift of freedom by our forebearers. Let us not squander it. The only child of the war hero, Logan McTurr. Anora, Anora has never been one to stay quietly in the background. It is common knowledge that in the five years Anola, Anora and Kaelin held the throne together, she was the one wielding the power. She is held in much higher esteem than her husband by the people of Ferelden, nobility and commoners alike, and commands the respect even of foreign nations. Having once inspired Empress Selene of Orleus to declare Anora of Ferelden is a solitary rose among brambles. She sends her maid Erlina to Al Eamon's estate to ask for Dalen's help in escaping from Al Ho. But as they fled House estate, Anora is in disguise. They were ambushed by Sir Cothrian. Uh, Cothrian, actually. Um, there to arrest House murderer. Dalen surrendered to permit Anora's escape. She made her way to Eamon's Demnerim estate and there offered her aid in defeating her father at the lands meet. With her help, Logan's support was eroded. The bands fell in line behind Eamon and Dalen. Logan, ho however, would not accept defeat easily. He filled the room with troops and attempted a coup. Fighting erupted, breaking the long tradition of the lands meet, which was ultimately settled with a duel. Um, in the end, Honora was granted the throne, freeing Alistair from the burden of responsibility he never wanted anyway. And level up. And, um, yes, I'm not sure what to do here, actually, and maybe I should slap on the group heal. I don't want Dalen to become a spirit healer um, in such a way. Um, so I'll just go with Tempest, I think, for now. So I'm going to make a cut here before we... Uh, or maybe I should just run around talking to people this point really really quickly um, I'll make a cut here and we'll come back and then go to Redcliffe thanks for watching